Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be having a look at macOS 9 on an Intel iMac. Now, um, the thing is that you've got to be a bit forgiving because um, in order to get macOS 9 to work on a modern Apple computer, um, you've got to emulate uh, very old hardware. Um, the Mac OS 9 was really designed to run on the PowerPC chips, i.e. Uh, the G3, G4, um, and even older, I think, um, processors. So um, it's not going to work particularly well. I think this was last updated in about 2000, something like that. Steve Jobs put, um, uh, put uh, or did a funeral for Mac OS 9 in about 2001. So here we go, this is um, a program called Sheep Shaver. I'll put the link uh, in my uh, info box. And what it does is it pretends that this is running on a PowerPC computer. So you can see it's going through all the, the booting up procedure. It boots up quite fast. Okay, I've had a little play with this. It's a bit frustrating. Um, however, we'll we'll have a little look through. Let's let's start with uh, the Apple menu here. I actually quite liked the multicolored Apple, and I wish they would still have it. Okay, uh, this is the Apple System Profiler. We'll tell you what um, is I think the equivalent to about this Mac. You see, it's telling you that it's version nine point oh four US. Um, Memory overview, 7.96 megabytes. Built-in memory, 256 megabytes. Uh, PowerPC G4, it's saying that it, or it thinks it is. Uh, machine speed, 100 megahertz. So in other words, yeah, it, it really <laughs> um, hasn't a clue really about the, the iMac that it's running on. Okay, so let's have um, a little look at some of the other things that, that are on here. Uh, first of all, uh, we have Appleworks, which opens up. Okay, let's just have a little look at the word processing here. Okay, and I can type in a very quick uh, document here. Select that, bold it out maybe, text, font, change the font. Um, I wonder if it's actually got any of the fonts that I've actually installed. No, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Why did it do that? Um, it has a habit actually of just closing up. Not got any of the fonts that I've installed on um, my ordinary Mac. Let's do that again. Okay, let's do that one. Hello, I am running Mac OS 9. And then I've got to do that again to change the font size. Okay, one thing I can do though, if I'm willing to navigate, I can actually save this on my ordinary desktop. Okay, if I were to save it perhaps as this is Apple Works, if I save it as a rich text file. Choose Unix here, my home folder. Should be one called desktop. Unix, apologies people. One thing this does not like is my magic mouse. That's where it is in volumes. That's the right. Okay, so there's all my um, external hard drives there as well. Okay, so I could pop it into Macintosh HD and then I'll find my desktop. For example, I need to find my home folder first. Users, users, there we go. So it's a bit of a navigation thing, is none of the spotlight uh, conveniences at all of Mac OS X. All right, there's the desktop. Okay, save this as See if it works out, but there's already, if you look here, there's already that folder there. So let's see if it, it'll do that. Save. Oh, 
Maybe it's because of... Oh, I see why, because I've put a space there, that's why. Okay, so then that's opened up in text edit uh, on my Mac OS X installation. So there, there is access to, uh, to and fro between documents. Okay, um, let's have a little look at a browser. Uh, this is iCab. iCab, they still make iCab. Um, there's a nice 64-bit version of it open, I do believe. Okay, if I uh, hop to Apple, though, we'll find out similar sort of problems um, from when we had Ma um, Internet Explorer open, really. See, this is not happy. Gradually, I think I think it's opening. See, one thing I did notice. Hello, do you want to scroll for me? I think it crashes quite a lot. It does crash quite a lot. And this is not at all happy. I've tried to update this browser. You'll notice on my desktop there's this file here, iCAD 305. And that really does not want to update. Okay. Um, and all in all, really, it's not a particularly usable installation. As I say, this is the Sheep Shaver version. Um, and, and it's not particularly usable at all. I think if you want to have a go at Mac OS 9, uh, the best thing to do is to buy on the internet maybe an old G3 or something like that with it already installed maybe um, a few installation disks be on the safe side and actually run it um, with its own local printer and that sort of thing and don't even bother to try and uh, pop it onto um, onto Mac OS 10 now because it, it doesn't work Mac OS 10 used to run um, something called classic mode whereby you, it, they could chop and change far more easily than this. This emulator, this Sheep Shaver emulator is rubbish. It really, it actually doesn't work properly um, because you can't access things like your printers, um, the internet. Um, I think, you see, because this, this is thinking it's a power PC, you see, so it'll just crash if I, if I try to install it. If that watch, gone. So... So have I. Bye. <laughs>